This screencast is going to talk about how to add a practice exam. So same thing as before, you're going to go to activities, assessment. Add assessment. And you want to choose practice. So this exercise could be formative. Um, it could be as a do now. It could perturb you from the day before. It could be as an exit slip. You don't put any essay questions or short answer questions here. This type of exam is to allow students multiple, op, uh, multiple chances to answer a question and they lose a percentage of points each time. I don't usually count them for points in a grade book, but I count them to see um, how students are doing if they know certain, certain topics. So you're gonna do it the same way that you would do a regular exam. So we'll do photosynthesis vocab. I usually don't make it any points, but just for the sake of, you know, if you're going to make it a 10 point, um, 10 point thing, that way they can see how many they get wrong. Unlimited. I don't usually do that for practice. If it's 10 questions, it's usually 10 or 15 minutes. You can allow them to take it one time, but they're allowed a certain number of incorrect attempts, so usually two. Um, you can choose to just give points on the first attempt or give points for each attempt. You can randomize everything again if you want. That's an option. Next. Okay. So now you're going to do this the same way. Usually I'll just keep it at one section for multiple choice. Um, section weights apply again, but if you're not really grading this to practice, so I would just leave section weights as is. Multiple choice. Okay. You can add a question. Same as before. Um, I'm going to add a bunch of multiple choice. You could do matching, fill in the blank. As long as you indicate the correct answer in the practice, it doesn't matter. Multiple choice. Add your question. You correct, select your correct answer, save it on another, and you can keep going for 10 questions. Okay. Once you're done, same as before, you can publish as practice. So you can give them a, a password. Usually for this one, I just leave it open because it's not for a grade. Okay. You choose, I'm already on um, Advanced Biology 4 again, so under photosynthesis, I'm just going to click that page. Publish it. Okay. I'll just post it underneath the other video, which is still. Okay, so once we post the practice, I didn't put any passwords. You can if you want. You can go to that page. And students would be able to click it. Now open, no set end date, but you could tell them when it's due. You will be able to try each question up to two times before the correct answer is revealed. If you want to pause this video real quick and read the information up here, it's about the practice exam. So we're going to start the practice as if we're a student. I'm just trying to show you from the other side. So the plant pigment that reflects green. Green is the color we see. I'm going to take a guess and be wrong. Carotenoids. Click OK. It's wrong. Now I'm going to click chlorophyll. Click OK. It's right. So on these practice exams, students get to see what they're doing, see their thinking, see what's wrong. They get immediate feedback. It's good practice before an exam, or it's just a formative assessment to see where they're at. And they click, I finished, submit the assignment. And this is what it looks like for them. It'll give them their score. So it took me two tries, so I got 50% on that question. Obviously, there would be more questions there. And you can see... Um, so you go in here, you would go to results the same way you would as for a test. And you can go down, and you see I got a 5 out of 10. Now, if you want to give them multiple attempts on something, the first attempt would go here, 
The second attempt would go here, and it would average them for a final score, so that would be up to you. And then you can go to question statistics, and it will show you, this is for an exam too, but I'm just showing you under practice. It will show you how many students got it correct, things like that, okay? Um, so that's helpful. And that should be it for practice assessments.